tried to put that dress that I was looking for on there. There's the thought. Do you see that cloud of dust? Oh, that's horrible. The odd dust! Miss the Ant Closet Reaper, she's getting organized. Miss the Ant Closet Reaper, what a sight for your sore eyes. Hi there, I'm Miss Deanne. Welcome back to my closet. This is Natalie King back again. Say hi, Natalie. Hi. So, Natalie is back this week. I'm so excited to help me with holiday outfits and then also. The winter has finally arrived yeah. in Houston, Texas. We've all been waiting for it and now we're like, it's so cold. <laughs> so we're gonna talk a little bit about um, transitional uh, outfits for those of us that are finally getting some cold. We had some requests for that. So uh, we, we think we have a couple things we can use, right, for yeah. holiday stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And then we'll supplement what we can't find here on Rent the Runway. So you ready to style me? Yeah, we're Let's ready. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Thanksgiving options. Okay. So, um, I love this one. So this, tell me about this. Okay. So this is an asymmetrical sweater dress, which we love. And the best thing about this is you can wear it as a dress, as we mentioned, or you can pair it with like tights or leggings. Um, if you want to dress it down a little bit and make it a little bit more casual. Um, we love this fringe booty. It is very this is my Stuart Reitzman booties. I love these. So cute. And just kind of adds a little detail, um, dresses it up a little bit to make it more dressy casual because we're adding the denim jacket for an additional layer. Um, that's one of the points that we wanted to talk about was how to dress um, for this transitional weather. One day it's 90, one day it's 30. <laughs> and it is supposed to be, what do we say, a high of 68, a low of 52 mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving. Maybe some rain. So, so yeah, yeah, 40% chance yeah. of rain. So be so. careful with the suede and the rain. But. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, I'm always cold and I'm pasty white legs now, so I probably will go brown tight mm -hmm. with this. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I a brown tight. You could do a brown legging um, if you just wanted to dress it down a little bit or if you just feel more comfortable. Um, and the best thing about this is it does have um, kind of this asymmetrical uh, silhouette and it does some great camouflaging if you eat a little bit too much at Thanksgiving dinner or lunch or whatever you have. And it also gives you some room to breathe and lay down so and take your nap after. <laughs> enjoy Thanksgiving, yeah. right? And I'm gonna be probably driving afterwards <laughs> to the next thing, so that's good. Okay, I I'm, I'm love that one. Okay, but we do have another option. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things I like about this option is, is that it would force me not to eat as much. Right, I'll exactly. let you talk about it. <laughs> yeah, so we have one of those, one, one each. And so the thing that I love about this, and I just wanna show the top and bottom together, um, I love how we did, so this is a coated denim. Coated denim, one of my Gen 7s. Yeah, it's a dark chocolate brown, and obviously the sweater is as well, and it has this really pretty like gold detailing. I love a monochromatic look. Uh, I Me think too. it's very chic. We added, you know, a little pop with the detail in the necklace, and then we brought in the nude ankle boot, so the jeans will be tucked inside of this boot. Um, and it just kind of goes with sort of the retro vibe of the top. Um, we have the ankle boot, and then with the necklace, it pulls all the colors together. So very chic, but also, you know, casual enough to not look over the top. 
I think it's also great. Very, I it. You look very put together. And I do love the brown for fall. Because mm -hmm. you'd ask me, did I want to do fall colors for right. Thanksgiving? Because mm -hmm. I know I tend to want to go yeah. with like browns and oranges and tans and I don't know. I think it's just like that fall. Is it festive? Feeling. Yeah. Exactly. And Thanksgiving is kind of like your last big holiday before it's like winter and right. Christmassy and, and all the red and the greens and the blacks and all those colors. So I feel like you, we can really soak up all the warm tones during Thanksgiving. One more chance. Okay. So now we're going into this was a more of a, a casual and a, this was kind of like we 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 got the request to give do some. Um, transition outfits and in, in Houston right now it's what did I say it was 30 something degrees yeah upper 30s which is crazy because it's also wind and rain and all yeah, that's the, the elements problem is, is it's moist and then you can't ever get warm right even though a week ago we were like Ugh, yeah when can I wear tights again <laughs> exactly. you know so that's Houston mm -hmm. so this is like one of those great Houston, it's 58 degrees, so I need something a little bit warm, but it's not really cold enough, right. so I'll let you talk about. Yeah, well, first of all, these um, are the Gen 7 jeans that Misty has uh, mentioned, and it is super imperative. I think that everyone has a dark denim in their closet. It just transitions from day to night very easily. I love that this is a skinnier leg so that you can wear it tucked into boots, you can wear it with a heel. Um, I love that and then so yeah, we did sort of a dressy casual look for this. We paired this with a pale pink t-shirt um, And this duster cardigan is very in right now again We did it with the pink and the brown which I think some people wouldn't think to pair those colors together I love it. But one of the things that really works is we added in the mixed metals with the silver and the rose gold and to dress it up a little bit we added this um rose gold pump so it just kind of like brings in all the metallics and the colors and again it you're not wearing just a t-shirt and jeans you've dressed it up by adding a pointed toe pump and a and chunky i think that necklace. this is kind of nice and festive for a december friday at work mm -hmm. you know you kind of get into that festive yeah season absolutely mm -hmm. and yet i won't be dying when it's you know i don't want to be wearing turtleneck when it's only Right. 62. Or this is a great, like, <laughs> girls' night out option yeah. if you have, like, a girls' holiday party or oh, that's um, yeah. date night. Well, now I have to play one of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Okay. And then the next, then we started going into the dresser stuff. Mm -hmm. So this next one that you did I thought would be, like, a great last day of work before, yes. um, Christmas. So we're gonna talk about this one. Yeah, a little so bit. we love I love, love, love um this emerald green. I think especially for Misty's coloring, a jewel tone is always um you know a great addition. I love it paired with the leopard just because I think it adds a pop of color to the otherwise neutral print. Um to dress it up a little bit, we added the pointed toe pump with the chunky heel, which um is you know a great work option so these pants actually come with their own belt it's the same material i wanted to dress it up a little bit more by changing the belt option so we just added a black leather belt the buckle has the gold detail which brings in the necklace you know this i think is very holiday and so i think it just takes what could be you know a normal workday outfit up another notch by adding like a chunkier bolder necklace and accessory and i think for someone that's not working um because i know the person that asked me about that is retired mm -hmm. this is a great like garden club oh, absolutely. or like daytime luncheon yeah i think right mm -hmm, absolutely i love it mm -hmm. i'm excited about this <laughs> so you could always pair like a black cardigan over this as well if yeah. you needed to add another layer for which that. i probably will mm -hmm. it's me <laughs> <laughs> I'm always cold. Okay. So, all right. So now we're getting into our two like holiday party, like like work party events. Okay. I loved this. Mm -hmm. This is a good one. So I we started with I got this great. Is this a duster? I mean, what do you call this? Yeah, I would say so. It's um I got this on my Quero trip with my girls, um Ann and Debbie, and. I kind of had an idea what I wanted to do, but the first thing Natalie said was, let's put it with a little black dress. <laughs> and my reasoning for that is because it's such a beautiful, you know, all the embellishment, all the detail, there's a lot going on. So my first thought is to pair it with something chic and basic so that you're not taking away from all of the detail that's already on it. 
Um, and so, yeah, we paired it with a, a long sleeve turtleneck dress and black tights mm -hmm. and then black I, and I'm using the uh, water bottle thing that Leela taught me that was in one of my quick tips <laughs> and only my water bottles aren't as tall but yeah just the tall black yeah. suede boot mm -hmm. and very you said very low key maybe just diamond stud earring yes yeah, so it. it's important to remember when you have um you know, an item that has a lot of embellishment, not to over accessorize, cause you're gonna take away from that and it's gonna end up looking like too much. I don't think a lot of times that, you know, it's for me, I think accessories are, you know, an important factor, but if you have something that already is basically an accessory in itself, don't overthink it. Just go for something simple, pull the colors. In this case, we have like the silvery metallic, do a diamond stud, do a silver hoop, do just something pretty basic so that the attention stays where it's meant to be. I love it. I'm so excited. This is going to be great. Okay. And then we have another holiday option. Um, I oh, I love I this might, one. Uh, I'm excited. About <laughs> I think I might, have, I might have two. So I don't know if the camera can see. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stand on my little ladder so that my pants show just for a second so these are um what do you call these like legging pants yeah um and they are almost like a faux suede the front is and then the back is just black but mm -hmm. yeah the front is like a faux suede mm -hmm. so these pants which i love because that is obviously very fall and then you can also dress them up or dress them down like you have them worn a little more casually with a sweater we're going to transition it into a very dressy holiday look um so we pulled this beaded top from um misty's holiday section and obviously i mean just it's a you know kind of a work of art in itself the colors are beautiful so we really kind of just worked from these colors um as soon as i saw the first stole i thought you know it's nice because it has all of the different textures that we're working with here in terms of like the stroke of the fur, the beads, the um, design of the beads, and then we pulled in um, a similar tone shoe that has like a python metallic print. And again, we're just adding into like the texture, but as long as you stay in the same color palette, everything works together. You don't have to worry about it being too much. Um, but again, in terms of over accessorizing, we wanna stay super simple um, with this. And I think we said, um, just the diamond, the diamond stud. stud. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could maybe do like a gold hoop if you wanted to do something um, like that because, you know, we're staying in the warmer tones. But other than that, yeah, just super simple because especially this because it has so much detail around the neckline. Obviously, you don't need a necklace and you don't want to go too heavy or too big in the oh, earrings. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I love it. I'm mm -hmm. so excited. Yeah, okay. I love that one. So that is, Yay. that's my <laughs> holiday stuff, and I don't even have to rinse. Yeah. Thank you so yeah, much. You're welcome. This was so fun. <laughs> it always is. All right. So if this was helpful for you, if you found it interesting or otherwise entertaining, please give us a like. Please subscribe. And, um, Come back and check out next week and my Thursday quick tip. And everyone have a wonderful week and a wonderful holiday season. Bye. <laughs>